You'll love this five-day trip to Guadalupe Island. We'll fish aboard the world's largest luxury sport boat, XL, owned by pioneer long ranger Bill Poole. We'll visit the 4,000-foot volcanic ridge of Guadalupe, rising from the deeps 220 miles south of San Diego. This is Pilot Rock right here behind me. You'll see how to jig up huge home guard yellowtail at Guadalupe and how to tangle with tough tuna near the island. Looks like all in for you guys. Sit back, relax, and let the action come to you as Bill Recker and the crew and anglers of the Excel bring it on. And egret and freeloading seagulls keep a sharp eye on events as the crew of the 124-foot XL carefully loads sardines aboard the boat. We need all the good bait we can put into the tanks. We're leaving San Diego and Point Loma on a five-day adventure to look for tuna and yellowtail. In the morning, we're up early. We're up there looking around, keep it open trolling. The fish came out of the boat a couple of times there, but I haven't seen them in a while. The trolling lines go out to start the fishing. The bait boxes go into the tanks, and we're ready. So is the bait, healthy and circling. Let's have a couple of fish. Why the jigs are good? Let's give us a good try. This school looks like Bonito slashing at the surface. Whoa! Bonita. We're after bigger, better eating tuna. These will mostly be released. We might be able to see something underneath it if we look down here. Somebody's at home here. It looks like I had a little bite there. Oh, they're fighting. Ow. This one's a fast feisty, flipping firecracker of a yellow tail. Watch line seat number 125 here up on the show, 125. Line low, please. Soon, we're stopped again. Oil! Gipper Stewart puts the bait where the fish are feeding. My, my, my. Look up. The skipper's cast finds a fish. Still there. Right there. A small tuna comes aboard, the first yellowfin ever to this Ohio angler. Yeah. <laughs> so good morning. We've got two yellowfin on the boat. And the skipper just saw a boil. Anything could happen at any time. Look up the ground! Another fighter!
fresh one. Come on, Bill. Come on, Oscar. You're hooking my fish. My fish just died out on me. Probably got to look at it. He's active, he's active. This one's a little bit. Yeah, that's a good one. 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 Rub me off on the, underneath of the boat. Get him up here and he'd be about 10 pounds and I'd be embarrassed. Use the Jack Nielsen technique here. Huh? Walking up to the right here, gentlemen. He's got me going pretty good, doesn't he? Yeah, this is a better fish. Come up here, let us have a look at you. We got a fish that's a handful here. He's on 25 pound line. It's a good premium line, and we're using a uh, small, accurate reel here. But it's working good, and the new seeker rod here is working good too. Hey, okay, stroking like a yellowtail now. Horsing very much more than I am. I'm on 25 pound line here. Boy, this fish is putting hurt on me. Huh? A big fish on light tackle does big circles by the boat. It's hard to get enough control to give the gaffer a good shot. As I try to get the tuner's head up, the fish picks up another angler's line and crewman Mike Ramirez helps out. I'd be better off by cast up the side here right now. Let you beat some of the way. Oh, I guess we got a fresh one on the bow. Oil the bow! What is that, 20 pounds? 25. Keep the door bumping them, we'll get them up. I got faith in you, though. I get the fish up, but the tuna gets its head down one more time. Now we wait for another circle. This contest would be frustrating if it wasn't such a challenge, if it wasn't so much fun. Oh, oh. Now this tough yellow fin reverses its direction, and he's about as tired as I am. And we're coming to the end of this fight.
decent fish. What do you think he weighs? Uh, I think he's going to be close to 40 some pounds. Oh, he's over 40. Yeah. Skipper Stewart spots fish up ahead in warmer water, and the sonar shows the school. We give it a few minutes to get together. This fish kind of scattered out around us. You're gonna be on the port side of the boat, facing forward, please. Right into the rail with them. All right. Let's try catching a fresh bait right on the bow. There's a nice ball of fish up here. On our next trolling stop, a yellowfin bites on a pink skirted jig made by the Zuckers Company in Oceanside. Finally! Woo! <laughs> I had him up here. So what do we have there, Bill? Another large bony Oh my goodness, have you ever, when's the last time you've seen Bonita this size, Phil? I just Phil? saw a 15 pounder. Dave's right. It's been years since we've seen such large Bonito. Nice Bonito. After this Bonito release, let's see what Jason has for us now. We got some spicy crab rolls with uh, tuna sashimi on top. We have some pokey and uh, just some plain sashimi with uh, wasabi and ginger. Everything's ready to go. And what do you do with this? You mix some soy sauce with the green stuff. Not too much, so it'll get kind of spicy. <laughs> and then go ahead and have a piece of sushi. And this kind of cleans your palate, the, the ginger. Oh, it does. After the ginger, yeah. That's a really good compliment. At first, I didn't like it, but it grows on you. There's a spotter plane. It's a small aircraft working with commercial net fishermen. But there are no commercial boats within miles of us. He's showing us where a school of tuna is near the surface. Skipper Sean offers up a thank you. The spotter plane goes on his way, and we're fishing on the school. Here's a nice yellow fin for Sarah's dad. Mark Dempsey is having the time of his life. Dan Hall's got a nice one going on his bait rig. Hey Daniel, today. Oh, I'm sorry, are we in a rush for something? Dan keeps the pressure on his tuna. That yellowfin sure looks great, swimming and shining in the deep, clear water. It'll be just a moment before we move on. We've still got one going.
have to move on and find some more fish. Next morning, we wake up near the north end of Guadalupe Island on the weather side. The skipper borrows my seven foot seeker rod and accurate 665 reel to find a big yellowtail for Troy with a tatty iron jig. The yellow line, back line. If you're not fit, then you drop it back down. And then you do it again and you wind as fast as you can back up. Gotcha. Just keep dropping it back and forth and dropping it back. And usually, usually by the retrieve or even on the drop, it'll get it. It'll pick it up. Fresh baits are waiting as Skipper Stewart moves to reset the anchor. Sorry, show my family. Oscar ties off the anchor line, and we're fishing again. Drop a loose spot. Obviously, fly line and bait is always a good bet also. Yeah. It's a bit rough on the weather side, but the yellowtail here are huge, and they're biting heavy iron jigs. West side, Guadalupe's north end is an impressive place. This is the north end of Guadalupe Island, and this is Pilot Rock right here behind me. This pinnacle that sticks up out of the water. It's been a navigational mark for years and years. It's a great place to find yellowtail and sometimes food. The island is 4,000 feet high at its peak. It's so high the wind can't blow over the top. It has to go around. So either end, the north end or the south end of Guadalupe Island can have some tough wind. Skipper Stewart decides to check out the lee side. We head south from the landmark of Pilot Rock. We're all impressed as we pass a twisted cliffscape of red cinder and black volcanic rock. Fur seals and sea lions bask at the surface of the blue offshore water. We can see where the prevailing northwest wind has piled clouds up on the weather side. The seals are still sleeping, but we're ready to fish again. Oh. 
Like trout, calico bass are pretty. They're valued more for sport than they are for food. The last bait I had went down, so a bass ate him. If they stay up and run by the surface, you might get a yellowtail or a tuna. This is a great place to fish. Hey, it's Kelly. Cool. cool. It's a nice bass, Troy. Let that one go be free. Thank you. Chef Jason Fleck chucks out a jig on the Seeker Ulua long rod and hangs a big fish. Jason passes the rod to George Galinsky, who's in for a fight. Nice yellow. Let's walk him up to the left a little bit. He's quite a babbler. There he is. He's not done yet. He's not ready for the table quite yet. The big yellowtail is a hard puller down in the pristine blue water. We move off down the island again, past the sleepers in a rubbled canyon, to the wide cobble beach where the elephant seals have a rookery. Dozens of the big mammals are soaking up the sun. Good afternoon, everyone. This is First Call for lunch. Today we're having carne asada plates with rice and beans. First Call. The locals, big common dolphin, enjoy showing off for us. Taking a good look, we don't see much life down here. Go back up where we had that nice quality fish. We get a few more of those 40 pounders. Fur seals are from a group called eared seals. You can see why. Wow, right where some Mexican urchin fishermen were just a half hour ago, a thousand foot rockfall is pouring hundreds of tons down into the sea. Some of the rocks are the size of automobiles. It's noisy, and the dust cloud is getting huge. Hey, nothing to see here. Just after the rockfall, a black sea bass comes up. Guys, watch the gate, please. This fish needs to be released. It's an endangered species. Skipper Sean will puncture the big black's air bladder so it can get back down to its home. Oh, 15 minutes. Jeez. 
practice, man. You were getting in practice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Glad I swam away. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to make it. I know. <laughs> it takes a while to revive them. So they're in dangerous conditions up here? Yes. The baits are agitated when we start up again to go back to the weather side. The weather side is perfect yellowtail country, steep, rocky, and exposed. It doesn't take long before a biter is hung. Heavy iron is still the ticket here. But some of the rail birds are switching to sardines and sinkers. Underwater pinnacles and exposed rocks make prime habitat under the steep cliffs. The guy up there in the green jacket up the side has had a oh, tough yeah. go around. I was trying to catch a white fish for my dinner and I hooked a dang yellowtail. <laughs> I don't want to wind him in, that's too much work. Here you go. On the line? All right. I was trying to catch a white fish for dinner and I got a yellow on the dropper loop. Get around the corner there. Oh. Yeah. Big white fish. You gonna catch a dinner for us? I'm trying to catch a dinner fish. Keep whining and pull them on out of there. Don't let this head out of the water, okay? Trophy yellows like this one are Guadalupe's trademark. Another big jack taxes an angler's ability and his tackle as it comes up resisting all the way. I just dropped the, uh, the dropper down and was only in a couple seconds. Boom! It hit, set the hook. Here's a brace of beauties. Now it's time to transfer some bait. Dinner aboard Excel starts with salad. Chef Jason Fleck is grilling up the veggies and the main course for a seafood meal of tuna and yellowtail. This is going to be delicious. It cooks right up and now he's adding some dandy prawns. makes your mouth water. All right, guys, tonight for dinner, we're going to have a penne pasta with seafood. Uh, we cooked all the seafood with some uh, garlic, basically scampi style with garlic and uh, lemon juice. We did put your basic uh, Alfredo white sauce on there. Then comes the uh, seafood. You put some uh, few shrimp. This is uh, some fresh yellowtail we caught today and some tuna. Sauteed zucchini. Nice group of vegetables here on top. Garnish it with some chives and tomatoes. Dinner is served.
Today, we're on our way home, looking at kelp patties. Here's a chubby little yellowtail, ready for release. Today we're going to pursue albacore and bluefin tuna offshore. They spotted something up off the bow. It's a mola mola, a giant ocean sunfish. This one is quite large. It looks to weigh several hundred pounds. There are birds up ahead and a kelp patty. Some small yellowtail are on this one. Little moss back. Let it come tight, let it come tight before you set the hook. One more time, Jeff. One more time around. One more time around. Still marking fish here, guys. Just keep a nice, lively bait on there. All right. Rick, I think we just picked up your line. And now, our first bluefin tune. This is a pretty good little bluefin bite. Alright, chill. That was the ball right there, huh? Oh boy. Nice and easy. Come on up, come on up, come on. Come on up, sir. There we go. There we go. Keep going, keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. That's good. You're good. You're gonna run a little bit, cause you're nice and fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, I'm back. Sort of. With my luck, though. <laughs> Shouldn't take long to get rid of this thing. Whatever it is. Whatever it is, it stays on the surface oh. and it just tries to go away. I about got him drowned now. He should allow me to pull him in backwards. Albatross loves this windy weather. Well, we're fished into old dark 30 here. I believe it's time to quit. The skipper serves our last dinner. Shot well done or in cut? Well done or in cut. You got it. Yeah, From the festival. Next morning at the dock, Skipper Sean weighs the fish to see whose is the biggest. It's a good ending for a fine trip on the XL.
The XL, 124 feet long, the 3216, is the largest and finest sport fishing boat on the coast. As you can see, the XL just backed into what I think is probably one elk, or maybe the biggest catch of uh, tuna ever brought into San Diego from Baja. Robert Alexander, Oceanside, California, aboard, aboard the XL. Approximate weight, 300 pounds. I'm Bill, host of Stand Up Fishing with Bill Recker television and home video series. You can buy my Stand Up Fishing videos in saltwater tackle stores and at www.fishingvideos.com on DVD. If you want to learn about catching tuna, wahoo, and yellowtail, marlin, halibut, and other West Coast game fish, go to fishingvideos.com. You'll get the latest long range news, enjoy hot action, you'll have more fun, and better fishing.